In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you're very well. This day, Wednesday, the 15th day, 15th day of November in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2023. Today we celebrate as Saint Albert the Great, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Our gospel passage is taken from Luke chapter 11, verses 11 to 19. On the way to Jerusalem, he was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then said Jesus, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. The Gospel of our Lord. Jesus was on the border between Galilee and Samaria when he was met by a band of ten lepers, both Jews and Samaritans. By describing Jesus' miraculous healing of the ten lepers from a physically devastating and socially isolating disease, today's gospel presents a God who desires only gratitude from us for the many blessings we have received from him, and who feels pain at our ingratitude. The gospel story tells of a single leper, a Samaritan heretic, for example, uh, um, I think so, who returned to thank Jesus for healing him. While the others went their way, the Jews perhaps had the false impression that healing was their right as God-chosen people, they did not seem to feel indebted to Jesus for the singular favor they had received. Instead, they hurried off to obtain a health certificate from the priests. Where are the other nine? Jesus asked the Samaritan leper, Did only one come back to say thank you? Today's reading also presents faith and healing going hand in hand as do faith and reconciliation. And here we can grab three things for our reflection. One, we need to learn to be thankful to God and to others. Often we are ungrateful to God. Although we receive so much from him, we often take it all for granted without appreciating his gifts. Often we are ungrateful to our parents and consider them 
a nuisance although in the past we were dependent on them for literally everything similarly we owe a great debt of gratitude to our friends our teachers our doctors our pastors but we often fail to thank them hence in the future let us be filled with the daily thanksgiving to god and to others for countless gifts we have received let us always pray please god heal my heart of ingratitude number 2 we need to celebrate the holy eucharist as the supreme act of thanksgiving when we celebrate holy mass together we are thanking god for the great gift of his son whose sacrifice formed us into the people of god we thank god for the gift of the spirit through whom we bring the presence of the lord to others and number 3 We all need healing from our spiritual leprosy. Although we may not suffer from physical leprosy, when we suffer from the spiritual leprosy of sins, Jesus our Savior wants to heal us through the sacrament of reconciliation. And here we need to pose two questions for each one of us for our reflection. Question number 1 When last did you go for confession This question is for Catholics When last did you attend meaningful and purposed confession When last Question number 2 For all of us now not Catholics only When last did you say thank you meaning it when did you say thank you intentionally and freely from the bottom of your heart when last did you even say thank you to the lowly for example those of you who drive past gates that are manned when last did you tell the person at the gate thank you he could be your employee she could be your employee but the fellow has opened the gate for you when last did you say thank you as you exit and as you enter those of you who have employees who cook for them when last did you tell your cook thank you from the heart and intentionally When you go for services in the salon in the in the other places where you go for your haircuts when last did you say thank you when you are served even when you are on the wrong when you are served maybe you have been flagged down because you've been you've been racing around and then you are served <laughs> maybe with some paper by the police Did you even say thank you because they have saved your life? <laughs> It may sound weird, but if we can inculcate the gratitude attitude, we will even find the reason why we need to say thank you even in places where we think that thank you is not needed. Gratitude attitude. I hope and pray that it can be our dressing for the day thank you and god bless in our gospel reflection we have heard about the healing of the lepers and the necessity of saying thank you let us pray heavenly father give us the heart of gratitude to say thank you even when the odds are on our side to say thank you even to those whom we think should not be recipient of our gratitude 
Give us a heart to recognize you as the giver, the source and the receiver of all that we give. Help us to be good teachers of gratitude. Help us to be missionaries of gratitude. Wherever we go, we spread the spirit of saying thank you. To those, to those of us who are suffering from various leprosies, leprosy of sin, leprosy of pride, leprosy of arrogance, leprosy of indifference, leprosy of coldness, leprosy of laziness. Dear Father, heal us of our various leprosies. We pray in a very special way for those who are sick, yet they do not know that they are sick, that, Father, you may teach them and heal them. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and never shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a productive Wednesday.